Okay, good morning everyone. I'm embarking on a 12,000 kilometer trip through South Africa where I will be exploring our national parks, doing wildlife photography, as well as filming some hikes that I do along the way. So if you enjoy this type of content, stay tuned um, and welcome to season one, episode one of traveling through South Africa.
the only thing that could be bad is to take it too seriously. In other words, uh, if you take uh, the fundamental idea that the whole universe, all its forms, all the forms of biology, all the different species, the giraffes, the rhinoceroses, the baboons, the, the roses, the uh, eucalyptus trees, etc., everything is a form of biological game. See, this is the reason why I absolutely love, love, love the unexpected. I didn't expect this at all. There's a massive kudubu towards the left of me. And there's a massive kudubu towards the right of me. Okay, so there we go. Um, finished with Addo Elephant National Park. So yes, on my way to come to Boer. Uh, like I said, I might spend the day there. Uh, finding some place to sleep tonight because I've got the camping ground booked for tomorrow. So, just arrived at Kamdebuer National Park, uh, checked in for two nights, gonna stay here um, until Monday afternoon. Okay, so on the menu for tonight, I've got some honey mustard chicken sausages as well as some pork neck chops so this is uh, gonna be amazing as well some burger buns and um, just by the way there's no one else in this whole camping ground besides me um, I'm at number 14 there's 21 spots and there's no one else but I'm not complaining it's just me myself and the crew so I'm just gonna settle in quickly get these sorted um, but first things first a beer in Kamdebuer National Park in the Karoo. But anyways, chat. Let me just show you guys real quick how beautiful it is over here. Kamdebuer National Park Might even get the sunset, let's go When you get to places like this, especially in South Africa um, It just makes you feel uh, feel different, it just makes you feel something else It's honestly amazing And then right now I'm here surrounded by absolutely no one um, And just, uh, you know, enjoying nature, it's, it's amazing there's no place like South Africa or Africa and when you get to experience this um, a lot of people understand uh, what it means and a lot of people as well don't know what it means we are privileged to live in a beautiful country like this and it's amazing to be able to to build memories or make memories um, even if it's alone or with uh, with your friends or family or loved ones um, it's honestly amazing. I mean, look at this. Excited for the next two days. I think it's going to be amazing. 
Cheers. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's a cold one today. Totally different from from yesterday. At Edo, Edo was um, it was extremely hot, but nonetheless um, had a good night's rest. Even heard the jackal call early this morning about 4 a.m., which was beautiful. And um, yes, uh, it's another beautiful day today. And, uh, then we can head out into the park. I think uh, I'm going to do that for the day, and then head out to um, the Valley of Desolation. Uh, this afternoon for sunset. I think it'll it'll be beautiful. Um, so yes, let's get going. Um, something I appreciate is that they also cater for the disabled. So they've got a um, disabled bathroom or restroom section over here as well, which I think is uh, is quite awesome. Okay, so just got out of the camping site. I'm heading to the game viewing area right now. It's it's already too hot, but um, and too late. It's just after nine, but uh, hopefully I can I can get something. And after this, I'll head out to the bird hideout, um, and then go to the Valley of Desolation um, for sunset.
Okay, as soon as you enter the park, you're going to get a sign that um, <clears throat> where the road splits, where it says Valley of Desolation, then you turn left, and if you want to do the 4x4 routes, uh, Winterhoek and Kudus Kloof, you turn right. So, um, I'm going to do the Kudus Kloof 4x4. Um, they say it takes about an hour and a half hour to get up, and another hour, hour and a half to get down. So, we're looking at three hours. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get the sunset um, before then or before before you have to exit Okay, just finished with Kudus Clear 4x4 trail and um, wasn't bad at all. Took about an hour to get to the top and another hour to get down, a little less than an hour to get down. So uh, it's exactly 5 pm now. Um, the gate closes at 7 pm of uh, Valley of Desolation. So I st I've still got uh, two hours um, and luckily the the entrance is just up here so uh, yes uh, successful day so far not bad at all uh, it was nice to to get out and do a bit of four by four um, so it feels good This is absolutely beautiful. The Valley of Desolation, Verlei van Verlatenheid. What a magnificent sunset! Once again, just me here, no one else. Day three done and dusted. Time to head back to, to the campsite, oh, start a fire, and then head out to New Bethesda, where the famous owl house is. Let's go. Okay, so if you enjoyed the first episode of traveling solo through South Africa, please stay tuned for next week's episode where I will be heading out to Mount Zebra National Park and onwards from there. Also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Thanks guys. Cheers.